people wanted was leadership from us and we didn't show that in enough time. I think ultimately saying that we would negotiate a better deal and put it back to the people was a good position to come to. I mean, look, I make no apology. I was very outspoken on the fact that I would not support Theresa May's deal. I would not support Boris Johnson's deal. And I believe that we should put it back to the people. But we took too long coming to that position as a party. And as a result, we lost trust of people in both Leave and Remain seats. Same time, though. Um, as you said, you know, you've always been a supporter of a the people's vote, if you like, or second referendum, as others call it. Um, you're an MP for London. Mm -hmm. Some people will be looking you know, at your um, candidacy and thinking, why would we need to get somebody who is um, you know, pro-Remain, pro from a London constituency, when actually the voters that we need to reach are not those voters? I understand that. But actually, I make no apology for, for, for really supporting my community. I knew that leaving the EU would be worse off for my community, for jobs, for local businesses. But I do wholeheartedly accept that we are leaving the EU. And now the job moving forward is to stare the Conservative Party in the eye, to look at Boris Johnson and stand up for our workers' rights, our environmental protections, our security, our food standards. And as Deputy Leader, that's the fight that I will take. But